cloud providers offer three very broad categories of thing that they sell you. One of those is software as a service. This is when they're selling you Office 365, it's when they're selling you Azure Active Directory, they're selling you some piece of software and they are going to run and maintain that software for you. The next thing they offer is infrastructure as a service. This is basically, they're just giving you storage and compute and network and you're running your virtual machines. This is the least effective way to get a huge win out of the cloud. There's no force multiplier for IaaS. You're taking the same virtual machine that you have to care for and feed and bathe and maintain on site and you're just shifting it up into the cloud. You still have to worry about patching it, patching the OS and everything else. They're not going to do any managed services for you on that. So if you're running SQL Server in a VM on site, whatever work you have to do to that is the same work you're going to have to do if you run that VM in Azure or AWS or anywhere else. That's why the big selling point, the big force multiplier for the cloud is platform as a service, PaaS. This is where you're using, to stick with SQL Server as an example, Azure SQL. Instead of running your SQL Server in your VM, you just upload your data to Azure SQL and Microsoft takes care of it. We all know that under the hood, there's still virtual machines of some kind. There's still software running, but we never see that. We don't touch it, we don't have to maintain it, we don't have to patch it, we don't have to care for it, we don't have to feed it, we don't have to lock it down, we don't have to secure it, we don't have to do any of that. We just stick our data in it and it works magically. That's where the cloud sells itself. It's not not just another place to run your VMs. Sometimes that's going to require applications to be re-architected or changed or potentially rewritten from scratch, which you have to decide if you want to do or, and are able to do or not. But the selling point, the upside to the cloud is not just moving your VMs from one place to another. The upside is really offloading the painful part of owning a VM, which is patching it and securing it and everything else. And that's where platform as a service really comes into play. And that's where these cloud vendors are really, really focused on a lot of their services.